Hello, happy Wednesday, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Now on first loud of the game we've got one for no sound effects, two for quiet sound effects or three for loud sound effects. I'm going to go for three because that's best for my uh, capture software and stuff. So uh, let's do that, three. So press three on the keyboard. Now it's got instructions as two, so we're going to have a look at the instructions. This game is called the Ultra by the way. So your controls are one is on the keyboard is left, two is right, slash is fire, forward slash. Well, yeah. Now that's backward slash, isn't it? P for pause on and off. Okay. This reminds me of the Teletext font on the BBC Model B, but it's not it's on the other cap, not so. Teletext won't look too out of place on this system, actually. So the first sheet of aliens is worth 10 points for each kill. The second scores 20 points and so on. This scoring rate does not increase after sheet 8. Bonus lives are awarded at 2,000 and 10,000 points. So just a very basic uh, instructions. Gives us a nice good luck message, so let's start the game. So press 1 to start. Prepare for hyperspace jump. Okay. So as you can see, you are this spaceship at the bottom. We are shooting these, what are them? Are they like, they look like, uh, I don't know what they are. Oh shit, overheated, can see the top right overheated. Do I need to wait for it to cool down a bit? There we go. So every time you shoot a bullet, it sort of raises the temperature. Can you see that uh, bar at the top? You see how it increases as you shoot a bullet? That means that it's raising the temperature. So you don't want to shoot too many bullets in quick succession because it does overheat the ship. Okay, so we've got two more to go now. Let's try and get these chatter boxes. Oh, overheated. So yeah, quite innovative for the time with the overheating. Okay, let's try and shoot these ones. Okay, one more left. Oh, I've missed him. And he got me instead. At least you don't have to start again. There we go. Ultra one destroyed. Oh shit, now we're on to the, the, uh, these blue guys here. They look funny chappies, don't they? Right, so they're sort of like all moving together and shooting you at the same time. Oh, you fuck! So you've got to try and watch out for these guys. So yeah, on this game, it's sort of like a cross between Space Invaders and Gala Galax Galaga. And maybe a bit of Gorf mixed in as well. Sort of like different games. And it's got like this variety to it. Okay, so the, it's getting quite difficult now because... There we go, I've got one there. Right, let's try and avoid these bad bullets while shooting the baddies. There we go. Ooh. Okay. okay. Okay, there's only one more to get. So let's try and... There's a little bugger he is. Oh, you fuck. Almost had him, man. There we go. Ultra 2 destroyed. So, what we got next? Whoa! We got these colourful ones. Oh, you fuck. Oh, game over on that one. That's a shame because I got to level 3. Whoa, I don't think that's supposed to be all used, is it? Right, prepare for hyperspace jump. Let's give this another shot. Now we know what we're dealing with. Okay, so yeah, okay, so here comes all the baddies. Here comes the chatter boxes again, or whatever they are. Little mini staplers. They look like them things where you, you got your sewing out, them like. Thing, I don't know what that was called, you know, where you get your stitches out to remove your stitches when you're doing some sewing. Or it could be like little staplers, like stapling away, or it could be someone's teeth. Looks a bit like someone's false teeth, doesn't it? Right, okay, so let's get these buddies here. There we go, Ultra 1 destroyed, so we've done the first level. Got four levels, four lives sewing left. Oh, well, I did have four lives left. Got me straight away. Whoa, got quite a few baddies and didn't they? See, the graphics are very simplistic, but they do sort of do the job. Oh, we're going to overheat it. I couldn't tell you if this game was released on any other formats, so if it was just an Oric, Oric Atmos exclusive. 
Have some of these. And have some of that. Right, okay, let's get the buddies. The sound's just basic bloops and blobs. It's sort of like their engine noise, I presume that is. Right, okay, so overheated again. So I can't shoot whilst overheated. You can see on the top you've got your score, your lives, and overheat meter. Right, okay, one more to get. Ooh, that was close. There we go. So on to the colour ones now. Oh shit, here comes the colour ones. The nice and colourful ones. Whoa, overheat again. Sorry. Oh, you fuck. It can be a bit of a pain when, when it overheats. Right, let's try and get one. It's nice to see that the game's got some nice varied locations and baddies and stuff. And game over on that. Okay, so that was a quick look at the Ultra on... Um, I don't think it's supposed to look like that with all them use. I think that's gone wrong a bit. But yeah, that's a quick look at the Ultra on the uh, Oric Apna system on this Wednesday. I'm going to give this one uh, 8 out of 10. Seems very fun to play and it's got a nice little bit of innovation mixed in with variety. So I'd like to uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye!